Hello everyone, welcome to the next lecture in the computer network series and today we will see the basics of IP addressing. Now we will see the outcomes of this session. Upon the completion of this session, the learner will be able to understand the basics of IP addressing. We will also come to know how to see the IP address in real device and we will also identify valid and invalid IP addresses. Now we will move on to the definition of an IP address. IP address. IP stands for Internet Protocol. IP is an important part in the internet and every node in the computer network is identified with the help of IP address only. We will see an example first and then we will come to the definition again. This example involves lot of end devices and lot of intermediary devices. Now there is a computer and this computer wants to send some data to this computer. It means the computer with the IP address 172.15.150.2 is going to send some data to 192.168.150.2. So this is what we call as an IP address because every node in the computer network is identified with the help of IP address only. Now we will see more about IP address. When I say IP address, there are two variations, IPv4 address and IPv6 address. In this computer network series, we will be learning about both IPv4 and IPv6 elaborately in the upcoming lectures. For time being, now we will focus on IPv4 address. We already know every node in the computer network is identified with the help of IP address only and they are logical address too. Let me explain what is a logical address. If you take this scenario, this is a local area network which is in New Delhi and this is another local area network, this is in Chennai. Suppose if I take this computer and if I place this computer in the local area network of Chennai and I want this newcomer to participate in the local area network which is in Chennai, I can simply remove this IP address and I can assign an IP address in this range. For example, this computer is assigned with 192.168.150.2 and this is with 150.3 and this is with 150.4. So what I can give, I can take this computer and I can place it here and I can assign it as 192.168.150.5 and thereby we can make this newcomer to participate in the local area network. Since this IP addresses can be changed based on the logic or the location, we call IP addresses as logical address and that is what I have mentioned here. So IP addresses are logical addresses because we can change the IP address based on the location of the device and we can assign this IP address manually or even dynamically. We will talk about this point in the network layer part. Time being you just understand IP addresses can be assigned manually or even dynamically and IPv4 addresses are represented in decimal and it has four octets. It means four parts. Say x dot x dot x dot x and each of this x takes a value between 0 and 255. So this x can be between 0 and 255. Likewise all the x can be between 0 and 255. So the starting IP address will be 0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 to 255.255.255.255. .255 .255 .255. And the total number of bits in every IP address will be 32 bits. We will now see how to see an IP address in real device. To view the IP address in real device, click the start menu, type CMD and give enter. When you give CMD and press enter, you will be given up with the command prompt. This is the command prompt of the Windows operating system that I am using and it can execute all the commands whatever I give. Here I am intended to find the IP address of this computer. To know the IP address of this computer, I have to give the command ipconfig. When I give ipconfig in the command prompt, it gives the IP address of this computer. If you observe, I am not using Ethernet based local area network because I have connected my computer using Wi-Fi and that is why it is showing wireless LAN with certain properties. If you observe here, IPv4 address is shown and this is the IP address of this computer and any data goes from this computer uses this as the IP address for identification purpose. So the IP address of this computer is 
192.168.29.173. So far we have seen how to see IP address in real device. There is an interesting activity for you. We are required to identify the valid and invalid IP addresses in the following set. So set of IP addresses are given and we are required to identify valid and invalid IP addresses and place the options in the appropriate columns. And there are two columns given. One is the column for valid IP addresses, another one is for invalid IP addresses. Suppose if you find A is a valid IP address, mark it as A here. And if you find B is an invalid IP address, mark B here. And you should know why they are valid and why they are invalid. Please pause this video for a while and make a note of this answer against the column. If you are done, compare your answer with the answer that I am depicting. So the valid IP addresses are A, C and D and the invalid IP addresses are B, E and F. Now we will see why they are valid and why these are invalid. A is a valid IP address because it should have 4 octets and of course this is having 4 octets. 1, 2, 3 and 4 and each octet is between 0 and 255. Yes, A is a valid IP address. And B is not a valid IP address though it has 4 octets 1, 2, 3 and 4. 4th octet is invalid because any octet should be between 0 and 255. So 256 is not a valid entry. So B is invalid. Coming to C, it is a valid IP address because each octet can be between 0 and 255. So C is valid. And D is valid. Why? Because D is also the last IP address of the IPv4 address set. And each octet is between 0 and 255. So D is valid. If you observe E, E is an invalid IP address because it has 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 octets. At the same time, if you observe this octet, this is greater than 255. So E is invalid for two reasons. Number 1, it has 5 octets. And number 2, the range in the octet is not appropriate. So it should be between 0 and 255. But we can see there are 345 and 456. And these values are not between 0 and 255. Coming to the option F, this is an invalid IP address. Why? Because there is an octet with 2 E. We know very well that IPv4 addresses must be in decimal. Even if he is an hexadecimal character, but that is not valid here. Because any IP address in IPv4, it should be in decimal only. So F is also not valid. I hope this session will be helpful to understand what are valid IP addresses and what are invalid IP addresses. That's it guys. I hope now you understood the basics of IP addressing. You will also know how to see IP address in real device and we will be able to identify valid and invalid IP addresses. Thank you guys for watching.